proteins are essential molecules in the body. They facilitate biochemical reactions, help remove foreign substances and fight infections, coordinate bodily functions, transport molecules around the body, provide structure and support for cells, carry out muscle contraction, and provide energy if needed. Proteins are made from amino acids. Although there are hundreds of different amino acids in nature, the proteins in our bodies are made from just 20 of them. With the different ordering of these 20 amino acids, all the protons in living cells are formed. If you think that sounds like a very small number to make the many kinds of proteins in the body, 160,000 different proteins can be formed from various combinations of any four of the 20 different amino acids. In fact, the proteins in our bodies may contain anywhere from 50 to 2,000 amino acid molecules from the basic stock of 20. What's the relationship between proteins and DNA? DNA is effectively the blueprint for making proteins. Proteins are formed according to the genetic code within DNA. Let's now look at how a protein is synthesized. The enzyme RNA polymerase binds to the DNA and starts to temporarily unzip it. Then free bases begin to attach to the DNA strand. It's not a haphazard process because the DNA bases adenine and thymine can attach only to each other, and likewise guanine and cytosine can attach only to each other. At the end of the process, pre-messenger RNA or pre-mRNA is formed. It's called pre because there are some base series known as introns that aren't used in protein synthesis. These bases are removed before the mature mRNA is formed. Mature mRNA moves out of the nucleus into the cytoplasm and the translation phase begins. In the cytoplasm, a cell organelle called a ribosome binds to the mature mRNA. The mRNA nucleotide sequence is read in triplets called codons. The ribosome binds to the mature mRNA at the start codon. Then transfer RNA, tRNA, starts to attach to mRNA triplets from anticodon. Again, the connection of codons and anticodons isn't random because adenine thymine and guanine cytosine bases can attach only to each other. Transfer RNA molecules carry amino acids to the ribosome. When a tRNA molecule binds to an mRNA, it releases its amino acid. After the first connection, the next codon is bound by a tRNA molecule with a complementary anticodon and delivers the correct amino acid to the ribosome. The ribosome uses enzymes to bind the amino acids together. After two connections, the ribosome releases the first tRNA molecule and moves on to the third codon, since only two tRNA molecules can be brought together by a single ribosome at any one time. The process continues until the ribosome encounters a stop codon. Once the synthesis is complete, the amino acid chain that's formed is called a polypeptide. Finally, this is folded in a very specific way to make a protein.